Hello, hello, good evening everyone, good evening and welcome. So, here we are guys, once again, uh, it's time to start our last class for um, for this week. And uh, for a while, actually, because, well, right after this class, we're going on a break. Um, just as a reminder, you guys um, are going to have next week off, which is, you know, well-deserved. So, yeah, for tonight, what are we going to be covering? Uh, it's going to be relatively simple. Uh, we're not going to be going any deeper into any of the topics. It's going to be more about a speaking practice. So be ready because tonight we're going to be speaking a lot. We're going to be um, participating on a topic that I have decided to call questions with have. What we're going to be doing is very easy and uh, we're only going to be sharing some experiences. All right. I told you the other day uh, when we learned about um, simple past versus present perfect that we use present perfect or those questions we have for situations that we have faced before. So tonight we're going to be answering some questions we have. They're going to be being created in the moment. So it's not going to be something that is, is already said. Like you guys can even decide what question would you like to add if by any time, by any chance, or at any time, we have the opportunity for you to add a question. So um, tonight is basically a class about you. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot of sharing, a lot of um, communicating. I only expect you guys to do it in English because, well, it will be better. Of course, if you guys have to uh, add yourself a little bit with the Spanish, it's going to be completely understandable. But at the same time, the aim is for us to go ahead and do it full English. So that is part of what we're going to be doing. Um, that's going to be like the dynamic of the, of the night. We're only um, going to be sharing some experiences, some prior experiences, asking also questions with half. Um, then before that, of course, there's, well, as following the idea, we're going to also have um, the, the question for the night. And tonight, well, the question that I will be asking, and this is the one that is not necessarily planned, is going to be, what are your plans, not for the weekend, but for the holiday? Okay, so what are your plans for the holiday? What do you guys um, think you're going to be doing on this vacation? So basically, that is the idea. Um, what are you guys after? Like, are you going out? Uh, maybe a trip with the family, a trip with friends, um, or probably just going to church and do, I mean, participate in church activities, which is also very regular during this holiday. So what will be the idea or um, the agenda that we're going to be following during uh, this holiday? As, of course, there are going to be a lot of things coming up. And uh, of course, there are, there are always activities that you guys can join. Um, so yeah, let's share and let's get to here. What are your plans or your expectations for this holiday? Um, the first person that I would like to hear from tonight is going to be, um, let's hear from you, Mayra Elizabeth. Um, good evening, everyone. Good evening. But I can hear the, <laughs> where is the main topic? Oh. Oh. What are your plans for this holiday or for this vacation? Oh, my plans are go to the beach, stay at home, dress a lot, and read a lot. I like to read and watch TV. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I see. Great. So going to the beach, staying at home, reading, and also... um. What was the other thing? Watching TV. Great. Very good. That sounds like a nice plan. You know, some a lot of resting sounds to me like a lot of resting. So that's great. You're not going to have um, to get to work. So that's nice. It's, it's something that I'll take. Very good. How about the case of um, Jorge? How about you? What are your plans for this holiday? Veo que está en Abu Dhabi, así que supongo que hay buenos planes. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I don't know. I don't know a good plan. Uh -huh. My plan is I uh, watching TV, listen to music, sleep all day, and 
will go to the Santa Tecla. I will ride the bicycle. Is is only. Okay, very good. So doing some workout on the bicycle, watching TV, listening to music, and sleeping. Also sounds like a very relaxed um you know idea for a holiday. So very good, great. Thank you for sharing. All right. How about the case of uh, Linda? How about you? What are your expectations or plans for this holiday? Okay, seems like she's frozen. Oh, or she's just stood up. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's hear maybe from Melissa. What do you think? What are your plans or expectations for this holiday? Um, I'll go to see the processions and carpets. And after that, I, I will stay home. <laughs> All right, so, All right. Going to, so going to some going processions to... and uh, also staying home. Nice, very good. That doesn't sound too far from my plans as well, you know. Um, however, for us Catholics, basically the active days, I mean, at least for me, that I'm not completely into church, um, the, the days that are more active are like um, Thursday evening, uh, Friday, and also um, Saturday night. The rest, I think... It's only resting. At least in my case, that that's like my plan, you know, just rest the rest of the time as much as possible. However, I'll be working on uh, Monday and Tuesday. So that's kind of sad. Um, not too much because I'll be working with some friends. So that's um, kind of good. But at the same time, still work. Um, but yeah, after that, just getting to rest sounds like a great idea. So good. Uh, moving on. How about the case of um, Osmin? What are your plans or expectations for this holiday? Hi, teacher. Good morning. In my vacation, I, I plan to go to the beach with my family. I visit my mother and my 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 cousin uh, in, in the zona rural. Okay. And uh, only. All right, very good. So that thing which you said there in the zona rural, in English, we normally say on the countryside. In the countryside. Mm -hmm. Countryside. Because the other one is the urban side. So, yeah. Uh, just so the countryside. Yeah, very good. No, no problem. Um, so, great. Sounds great. You know, visiting some family members and uh, going out of the routine. Sounds like a very good plan for a holiday, you know, for, for some uh, days where you can just be off and disconnect from the rest of the things that you have to do on a daily basis. Great. Very good. Moving on, let's hear now from Laura. What do you think? What are your plans or expectations for um, this coming holiday? Uh, good night, every, everyone. In my case, uh, I have in my mind take a long rest <laughs> because in this moment I feel very, very um, tired. Mm -hmm. But it's probably go to, uh, go to the beach and spend time with my friend because in in normal uh, times it's very difficult because uh, they work and I work too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the reason why it's very difficult to spend time uh, a menudo. Mm -hmm. Often. How do you say? Often. Uh, of them. Of them. Uh, only. All right, very good. So yeah, spending time with friends is always going to be a great idea when you have some free time. So I think, you know, you're going on the right path on that. You know, something really weird about me, and I know that I share a lot of things about me, but something really weird about my life is not all about me. It's about my life, like the way my life works is that I almost never have holidays when there are holidays. Like, for example, in August, 
for that holiday in August, I'm almost always working. It's not that I work like as a teacher. I work on my entrepreneurship uh, or my idea of business. Um, so yeah, I am basically working. For this holiday, I'll be working for a couple of the days. I'm not going to be working every day because on so Holy Week, I normally respect at least two or three days at the end of the week. Um, but yeah, I mean, normally I'm working on, on holidays. And it's something that has happened in the last three years, basically. Right after the holiday, a family from the U.S. or a family member from the U.S. normally comes visit. And that's when I take my holiday. Because, well, it's just something you guys um, you don't need to know, but I'm going to share with you. Um, for example, the day we have the last class, I'm going to be staying at a, um, at a house in, in La Costa. So it's something that, you know, happens to me. It has happened to me so many times. I remember one time um, after a um, August holiday, I was finishing the classes. Actually, I was wrapping up the classes. That night, I was so scared because there was a, a heavy rain coming. And I thought that, you know, the electricity was going to be cut off. So I was really scared because I didn't want to, to miss the class because the next day I was going to Guatemala. So it's like almost always when I finish like the classes that week that I have um, happens to be a very busy week because, well, some family comes to visit. You guys have been very, very lucky because or I, I have been lucky because I will not be busy during the time that I have to um, to work with you. But it happens so often but mostly when there are like holidays in between i work during the holidays but i take you know time off right after the holidays and it's going to continue to be like that um for this occasion as well so you know something that that happens to me sometimes all right moving on let's hear now from uh, luis how about you luis what are your plans or expectations for this vacation good evening everyone good evening um in holiday, I will be at home and I will participate in some religious activity. All right, very good. Great. So being at home and also participating in some religious activities. It sounds like a well-spent holy week. So great. Very, very good. All right, moving on. Um, Take care. Yes, tell me. Una consulta antes de, de seguir. Mm -hmm. eh, Partiendo de que esta es la última clase de esta semana, eh, la siguiente clase será, supongo, el martes 11 o el lunes 10. Creo que será el lunes 10. Lunes 10. Sí, lunes 10, porque el curso termina el jueves 13. Ah, ok. Ajá. Así que sí, tendrá que ser el lunes 10. Uh -huh. Lunes 10, de acuerdo. 10, 11, Gracias. 12 y 13. Sí, no hay problema. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Um... Next person, let's see if we can hear from Lisbeth. How about you, Lisbeth? What are your plans or expectations for this holiday? To be honest, I don't know yet, but I just want to uh, rest, rest and <laughs> spend time with my family and maybe cook something delicious for us. And that's all. Okay. It was easy to guess that you wanted to rest because I remember that last... Um, last weekend you had to study so you know when you have to study that hard when you don't have free time during the weekend it's very very like healthy that you want to rest on on a time like this so very good nice and i totally hope and expect that you get you know the well-deserved rest all right moving on how about you mariela how is what is your case what would you like to do or what are your plans or expectations for this holiday well, I'm not sure, but I think that I will visit my mom in Santa Ana. And I don't know, may I will go to the beach, but I'm not completely sure. All right. Very good. Yeah, well, um, sometimes, you know, the plans come and go. So hopefully the plans uh, for you come and don't go. So nice. Very, very nice. Uh, moving on, let's see if we hear from, um, let me see, I had someone in mind. Oh yeah, Mayra Guevara, how about you? What would you like to do during this holiday? Um, hello. Hello yeah, there. Um, uh, during the vacation, 
week, I think I go visit my family and go to the Lempa River and also go to church. All right, very good, nice. Sounds like a nice idea and a nice plan. Hopefully everything comes true. All right, how about um, Romeo? What do you think? What is going to be your idea for this um, holiday? I, um, really, I don't have any plans for this holiday teacher because um, I don't like to to go, for example, uh, the beach because it's very so crowded. Yes, crowded. And really, with my family, we usually go to the beach and after the after we do the, the holiday. Yeah. Uh, for this reason, really. Yeah. But really, I don't have any any plans for this one. Okay, great. No, that's yeah. okay. You know, that's nice because uh, that's basically what we do as well with my family. We normally just go right after the holiday because during these days, it's, as, as you said, it's always very crowded. So it's yes. better just to spend time, you know, with the family at church instead of going into the messy life of um, going out. So good. Yes. very good. We, we usually go one week after the holiday. <laughs> All right. Sometimes yeah. when, when we have actually gone out, um, you know, during the holiday, it's when my sister has her birthday in like during the holy week because her birthday is on April 17th. So it's very common that a holy week lands on that week specifically. So that's the only times, you know, when we go out during holy week is because it's her birthday. But apart from that, we just rather don't. We just stay at home or for example, this time, I think the only plan that I have is that I will visit my girlfriend's grandpa or gra no grandma. Yeah, my girlfriend's grandma. Um, she lives by the Chaparastigue volcano. So yeah, I, I know I have to be careful because it's active right now, but still who doesn't want to risk it, you know? Um, so yeah, basically that's the idea or the only plan that I might have at the moment. Do you like, do you like climb the mountains? I do. I love climbing mountains. Yeah. Really? Yes, I do. Yes. I have climbed Isalco. I don't know if you guys have ever had the, the opportunity, but uh, in San yeah. Vicente? No, in San Vicente, no, I haven't really been to that one because I don't really know people from San Vicente and I have never really heard about people, you know, who actually practice the activity. Uh, uh huh. But uh, yeah, when I was in, at the university, I had this class about tourism. And uh, one time we went to Cerro Verde and there was a chance to go and climb Isalco. So we basically did that. What we did was forbidden because we were not supposed to climb it that day because it was raining. And the police officer and even the tour guide, he said that it was not okay, that we shouldn't really climb. But we were like, it's the only time that we're going to have. Like, it's the only time that we're going to be here together as a group. So forget about it. We're going to climb. And so climb we did. Even the teachers, even the teachers came with us. So, you know, it was, it was a really nice activity. Um, from that time on, I have really been a climber basically my whole life. I remember when I was very young, uh, my grandparents also lived by, by Chaparrastique. So when I was really young, I would go and I will always wait for that time after lunch when we went to walk. And uh, it was no walking. It was more climbing, as you said, uh, because it was it is like, like a very rocky area. Um, so, yeah, I remember that very, very clearly that... That was basically what got me more excited, you know, right after lunch, my grandma will say, let's go visit this person. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Or sometimes I will propose like, why don't we go to the, to the Milpa or I don't know any, any sort of the, the, uh, the Frijolera because the Frijolera was even upper uh, on the volcano. So I was like, I want to go there, you know, I want to climb, I want to, I want to walk there. Um, so yeah, I have enjoyed that basically for my whole life. So I haven't really done it in quite some time. So hopefully it's going to be a nice experience uh, for this holiday. Yeah, it's, it's right. Yeah, hopefully the volcano doesn't get excited when I'm climbing on it. <laughs> okay, 
Moving on then. Uh, how about Maria Dolores? What about you? What will be your plans or expectations for this holiday? Mm, it's today I now have a plan. Um, but uh, I want my babies, my sons, my sons, mm -hmm. and the beach. And, and really know, know how and the place is specific it's in, in its moment all right mm -hmm. that's okay but still you know you have the idea you have the idea that you want to take them to the beach so good uh, yes i yes i want that short um, in work too <laughs> okay so yeah yeah that's what happens also when you work in that line of work you have to spend some holidays working yeah. it's understandable it's um, necessary that work <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it, it's something that you know you have to do that happens and it, it's very sad with people who work in health or security like you know um nurses doctors um police officers like you guys have to work basically it doesn't matter when, but you have to be there. So it is something that we have to thank as well. You know, as, as the rest of the population, we have to be thankful because you are there. Even it's if, even when it's a holiday, you are there. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Okay, very good. Moving on, uh, let's hear from Ruth. How about you? What is your idea? What are your ideas or expectations for this holiday? Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, I have many plans. Well, uh, we have many plans with my family and my my boyfriend's family. Uh, first, this Saturday, uh, we are going to stay with my sister at my house, doing uh, how do you say manualidades? Uh, handcraft. 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 Yes. Uh, in fact, ah, uh, that. Mm -hmm. We are going to to finally uh, that uh, mm -hmm. manualidades. <laughs> um, <laughs> <and, laughs> uh, probably uh, we will uh, go to the beach, uh, Barra de Santiago, Ooh. and uh, we are going to visit my the rest of my family. All right. Very good. That sounds great. Yeah, also enjoy Barra de Santiago. Be careful with the beach. I, I don't know if you have been there before, but it's tricky, okay? Because I almost drowned there. Casi me ahogo ahí, así que tenga cuidado. Hay unos remolinos bien peligrosos. Así que... You... My, my aunt, too. Uh -huh. She told you about that? Or she almost yeah. drowned? Almost drowned. Oh, okay. So, yeah, me, I, I, I almost drowned and I was about to drown my girlfriend as well. I was dragging her into the hole with me. I was like, I'm not leaving alone. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was very scary. Honestly, it was very scary because um, I mean, I'm, I'm quite tall. I'm 185 in terms of centimeters. So I consider myself very tall. But that day when I was just, I was just walking regularly. I think the depth was around well, like one meter and 20 centimeters, something like that. So basically 65 centimeters of my body were still up. And then as I took an extra step, I fell almost like a meter. You know, it was almost a meter deep. It was very deep. Um, so yeah, I was honestly scared. I walked out of the water and I was like, I'm not going in there again. And I, I didn't. I didn't go into the water again. So be careful. It's a nice beach. It's, it's fun, you know, but it's a bit scary at times. When I go to the beach, I just take a, a sun. Oh, okay. Now, if you guys, if you guys want recommendations for a beach, it's not, I'm not being biased here. Okay. You might think that I'm being biased, but I'm not being biased. If you ever want to enjoy a beach where you can like swim and enjoy the, the, the water and the sand, come to El Espino. El Espino is basically the best beach that we have in terms of that. Of course, be careful because also the, um, the sea levels come to a very high level around 2 p.m. So you have to swim before that time. After that, if you stay like in the more commercial area, you're going to have the water coming into your tents and into the, the businesses. But uh, 
yeah, before that, it's a, an amazing beach. Now, if you are one of those who likes to like risk it a little bit and go to non too populated areas like I do or like we do with my friends, we normally mm -hmm. used to stay two kilometers away from from like the regular place, you know, like the regular beach. And there it doesn't happen like that problem that the, the high rises, it doesn't happen. And it's just so enjoyable. Now, if you want to enjoy a beach that doesn't have that problem, also go to El Cuco. El Cuco is another of the beaches here in, in the western side that has just such an amazing beach and you can, you know, enjoy it so much. The only problem with El Cuco is its marine life. I don't know if, uh, Luis, you have had any situations with, you know, creatures and, and fishes in El Cuco because El Espino doesn't have that. El Cuco does. Pero, pues, sí, ahí recomendándoles para el futuro, sí. Yo siento que El Espino es más... Uh -huh. I think uh, that the best beach in El Salvador is Los Cobanos. Haven't been. I haven't really been. Well, I have only been to the Cameron. I haven't really been to like Los Cobanos as, as, as you know, as a... Yo as les a recomiendo beach. también la, las playas de El Cacal, playas negras, son there pero bien go. bonitas. There you go. Western sí. side, you see. Oh, sorry, <laughs> eastern side, eastern side. Para que vean. El Hawaii, por ejemplo. Mejores. Si les gustan las Ajá. playas así, estilo, estilo lago, o sea, playa que no les golpeen las olas y cosas así, go to El Hawaii. That's, that's a, a very, very good beach. I, be, I went there like six months ago and also like a month ago. Yeah, I went there like a month ago. And um, yeah, it's, it's just so plain and so broad and i don't know it's just enjoyable just be careful don't go too far because if you if you go too far you're going to end up at a place that basically only has rocks so stay on the like the most um or the closest area to the tourist um to the tourist place so yeah i mean if we talk about that of course it's going to be a debate because you guys defend your beaches we defend our beaches but to be honest i think like if you want to go up to a place where you can take amazing pictures, I think El Cuco is the best option. If you want to go to a place where you can enjoy the beach and enjoy not having any issues swimming, El Espino will be the best option. And if you want to go to a place where you can have amazing food, probably Las Tunas will be the best option. Las Tunas doesn't really have a lot of beach, but it's, it has great food. So there you have it. Al rato abro mi negocio de turismo. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. The last person to answer this question is going to be you, Alexa. Tell us, what are your plans or expectations for this holiday? Well, this holiday, I'm not very sure. Wait, wait. Sorry, um, sorry, yes. sorry, 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 sorry. One moment. <laughs> I told you, one day was going to happen. Yo sabía que un día iba a pasar. Lo dije muy fuerte, dije Alexa, no sé qué, y empezó mi Alexa como loca ya haciendo oh. cualquier cosa. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Uh -huh, go ahead, sorry. Um, I was thinking to go to see Comic. Um, yeah, I, I just participate in a giveaway, and I win. So, yes, I have five, five tickets. So I'm going to go. And actually in this weekend, in this week that it's coming, I don't think I apart that, I'm not gonna gonna do other things, but the next week, in two weeks, um I'm going to the US. So I my parents give me a ticket to Coachella. Cool. So I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm so okay. excited. Very good. That sounds very nice. Sounds like a yes. very nice gift, also. Yes. Yeah. So you're basically like me. You know, you have your your holiday after the holiday, not during the yes. holiday. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Very very nice. Okay. Sounds like good plans. I mean, not necessarily for now, but for the future. So very good. Ahora sí, vamos a ver. Vamos a hablar acerca de lo que les decía. Esta vez, I mean, you guys are going to be doing a lot of practice, okay? Just to be honest. Um, I just want one thing to happen. And it's that I would like to hear, I mean, I would like you to be um, participating on your own. Not necessarily because I'm calling you, but because you want to participate. These questions are going to be basically just for that. Just as um, topic openers. Uh, if you guys have ever been, I would like to hear 
how it felt, how you, I mean, of course you survived. So how was it? Like, did you come out with any bruises? Did you have any traumatic experience? Like, how was it? Okay. So this is the first question of many. I hope I can have time to ask you many of them. Um, but yeah, here's the first one. Have you ever been in a car crash? So think about it. Have you guys ever been in a car crash? And if you have, would you like to share? All right, Alexa, you start. Yes, uh, actually, the last year I had one. It happened in a third. And I live in Lourdes. Mm -hmm. So I had to pass up to my university. I had to pass up that that section, the road. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was going to my classes in afternoon. And yeah, it was rainy. So uh, my mom was uh, was in the car. I was uh, next to her. She mm -hmm. was uh, she was driving. Driving, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, somebody uh, pushing us from from, from behind. behind. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we we had the the closet, mm -hmm. but. I get part of my neck. So, oh. yes. yes, that was very scary. But yeah, it happened. Nothing happened. But yeah, thank you that you're alive and you came out alive. But did you have problems with your neck like for, for a long time or did it get better uh, fast? Oh, no, I still have it. I mean, this happened when I get stressed. It, it starts to hurt my neck. Uh, my back, uh, it hurts a lot oh, when okay. I get a little bit stressed. Oh, okay. So it's more like a natural thing, like something more you. All right. Understood. Understandable. Very good. Okay. Anyone else who has ever been in a car crash? Have you guys ever been in a car crash? Um, when I say car crash, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's an accident, like when you just go against another car. Because in my case, for example, it happened a long time ago. Because I was around uh, 12 years old back then. And uh, I remember that we were going to a uh, graduation. One of my cousins was graduating from, I think it was ninth grade. I'm, I don't remember if it, was, if it was kinder or if it was ninth grade. But I know it was something from the school. Um, so my mom, she could drive, but she was not the best driver. Okay. So she almost never drove. But... Uh, that day, my dad was in the U.S. My brother wasn't still able to, to drive or he wasn't really that good yet. So she was like, nobody's going to take us because we didn't find, you know, someone who could, who could like take us to, to my grandparents. And she was like, She's, she was going to drive, okay? So everything where we thought was the most dangerous part, which was basically just passing downtown El Transito, where most cars are, was smoothly like she went through there we went through there just nothing happened and we started driving on one of those countryside roads where you know there is not basically nothing only land and land and land um so nobody thought that we were gonna get into a car crash honestly but i don't know how my mom was trying to anticipate a curve but she anticipated anticipated it to anticipate it yeah, I mean, she was too early on the curve. Um, so we basically got on a cliff. ¿Saben qué es una cliff? Sí, como una colina. So we basically got on a cliff. Like, we got on a cliff. We broke down, um, like, a, a fence. And it was a whole mess because we were taking the, the, the juice with us. We had some horchatas. We had uh, um, watermelon juice. So we had many things, you know, for the party. And all those things just basically just showered us um so yeah it was a very messy accident um none of us had any problems like we were just okay the only losses were basically well the things you know the food but after that it was just nice but it was really funny also because even the car the car didn't really get damaged it, it had a little bend here and there but it was not really that damaged but it was funny kind of funny because I mean, she went through the whole dangerous place with ease. But when it came to the most 
alone in a lonely place where she could drive. Well, we got into an accident. So yeah, things that happen. How about you? How about anyone else who has ever been into a car crash? ¿Alguno de ustedes ha, ha estado en, algo, en algún um, accidente? I mean, like, alguien más? Yeah. Okay. Me. <laughs> All right. I remember. Us. How was it? Uh, uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. probably. Uh, I had gone to the beach with my friends. Mm -hmm. with some friends and one of them uh, had taken his car and we went uh, to him at the car uh, mm -hmm. during the day everything uh, was okay but when uh, we were uh, when we came back mm -hmm. Uh, íbamos. We were. We were a uh, un túnel. Through a tunnel. We went. We were passing through a tunnel. We were passing tunnel and uh, was a. Uh, it was a, a a trailer. Oh. And. Uh, I remember uh, the trailer uh, uh, shocked with the car. Mm -hmm. uh, everything uh, was okay, but uh, I hurt my my leg. Ouch! But it was not uh, serious or mm -hmm. like a horrible or like a like a bad a injury. It was just uh, the scary. Mm -hmm. And a bruise. Así sería yeah. cuando te vemos acerca como de un moretón, algo así. It's like a bruise. It was a bruise, but uh, uh, I am uh, so a scary woman. A scary woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I when, get it. When, I, when I take the bus, when I uh, go uh, uh, a Uber or a driver, um I'm go uh pray <laughs> because uh, I have uh watched the the notice the, the news the news and the last weekend the last week uh I don't know uh, did you see the 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 horrible uh crash mm -hmm. and monsignor no it was basically on the exit of Monseñor Romero. It was in, in um, Los Proceres. Ajá, el de Boulevard Los Proceres. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. so horrible. Yeah, and happens. every time I'm going, I'm going to, to pray for for the security uh, of every people. Yeah, I mean, that's why they say that, for example, when you travel by plane, and if you make it to the airport, you have already survived the most dangerous part, you know, of traveling by plane. Cuando viajamos por avión, te dice que si ya llegaste al aeropuerto, básicamente has sobrevivido la parte más peligrosa. Porque es aparentemente como 500 veces más posible que te que tengas un accidente en carro que en un avión. Entonces, like, I mean, car crashes happen basically every day. Um in my case today i was i was riding a motorcycle um on my way back to to my house and it was a little there was a little traffic um and there was a, a pepsi truck right behind me i like to respect you know the rules when i'm right i'm riding a motorcycle i like to be like in the, my lane and everything but uh, i don't know if the guy was like new driving or what but he was very close from hitting me very very close um, I mean, as I said, it was like a traffic, uh, like a, a small jam because of some um, animals that were passing the street. But uh, I don't know why he got on the gas on the accelerator a little bit for a little bit too long. And he took a little bit too long also to get into the brakes. And uh, I, I got scared. I honestly got scared. Like I am uh, not scared like that easily, but situations like those, you know, actually get me 
a little bit scared. So it's understandable. Car crashes are, are very tricky. Already, anyone else who has ever been in a car crash or do we change topic? ¿Alguien más que ha estado en algún accidente o cambiamos el tema? Oh, yes, Romeo. Teacher. Okay, tell us. Yes, uh, <clears throat> really was in uh, uh, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I was driving from my town to San Vicente. Mm -hmm. I live uh, in a high place and the road has many curves. Mm -hmm. um, on that uh, uh, occasion, it was raining. Um, in front of me was a truck. Mm -hmm. On one side of the road uh, is a, a, a abyss. It is correct. The uh, abyss, abismo. Oh, cliff. A cliff. A yeah. cliff. And on, on the other is a mountain. Uh, I put the I put the sign to pass next to the the what do you say abismo cliff <laughs> the cliff. Um, when I pass, the truck driver uh, did not see that I pass on call and call and crash with him. And the on the back, the blood pushed me into the the glide, glide. Um, on the shore there was a large stone that hit me stop and did not allow it to to fall mm -hmm. to the to the. Ok, but ya, yeah, those experiences, me imagino que es en la calle subiendo de San Vicente, ¿verdad? Yes, San, yeah, San Catarina. That, that road is very tricky. I have been there a few times and it's very tricky because it's very narrow. Like, it's a very yes. narrow road and uh, I cannot imagine myself driving through there if it was raining. Like, yeah. I don't know, like with the rain, that road has to be so scary. Because, yeah, I have been there a few times and uh, I have never really gotten into any complicated situations. The most complicated thing that I have done through that road is basically following a lot of traffic. But, you know, with traffic, it's a little bit safer. Like you can you can bump someone, you can like get into someone, but it's not going to be like as dangerous as when you're driving a little bit fast. But, yeah, it's I can only imagine how hard that could have felt. Um, cause Truck drivers sometimes are just careless and, uh, you know, they not, don't necessarily pay attention to what others do because they feel so powerful with their trucks. And, uh, I mean, I'm not blaming it on them, but it's what happens sometimes. Like, it's not everyone, you know, that is like that, but some people just behave like that. But, yeah, it's, it's nice to know that, you know, you made it alive and you're here because there are so many things that happen, so many things that go wrong sometimes. And uh, we just never know when we're going to be in the middle of it. But now we're going to change topic a little bit. And we're going to talk about something that probably has happened to more people um, than being in a car crash. And it's going to be, have you ever lost money? Have you ever lost money? Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever lost, I don't know, $5, $10, $20, more dollars? Um, if I'm allowed to start, I have. One time, I remember that I had a, a debit card um, that was part of my, my savings account. And uh, I had I didn't really have a lot of money there, but I had some, you know, a couple hundred. Um, and one day, I was with a friend, and we were talking, actually, and, and that's how life sometimes shows you the kind of things that happen in, 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 in it. We were talking about that, about scams, about how some people get robbed and all that. And uh, when I came back home that day, I almost never, that was something that I had to make clear. I almost never carried my card with me because I was scared that I, it was going to get cloned or something. Um, I almost always, when I had it, was when I needed it. So that was something, you know, to make clear. I almost never had it with me. 
So that day, it was the same thing. I didn't have it with me. He was here at home. But the thing is that um, normally, I don't know if you guys have debit cards or credit cards, but when you do a transaction with them, the bank notifies you, right? Like they send you either an email or a message where you know how much money has been taken from the card. Um, it was the same for me. Like the bank will always text me like, um, you had just done a transaction for this amount of money or your transaction was successful for this amount of money. And, uh, you know, I always, always got those messages. That day, I was just talking with my friend um, about the topic. And I don't know why. In the afternoon, around 2 p.m., I felt that thing, you know, that thing that sometimes happens. And I decided to go into, into my bank account. And when I checked on it, I only had around 20. No, I was $12. I only had $12. Out of the almost $400 that I had saved there, I only had 12. And I remembered how scary I felt and how bad I felt. And I decided to go to, um, to the bank and I started asking. And what they told me was that basically my card had been cloned and it was um, actually used in Russia. I didn't have a, um, whatchamacallit, a, a um, insurance with it. So I didn't have insurance. I was not going to get my money back. So yeah, basically I got robbed by a Russian company. It was a Russian furniture company, or at least that's what they said they were. Um, but yeah, I, I did get robbed one time. Now, how about you? Have you guys ever lost money? I, I consider that to be the same as losing because I mean, I wasn't robbed. I wasn't like pointed with a gun or anything. It was more like, you know, something that happened behind my back. So, yeah. Um, how about you, Ruth? What was your experience with money? Well, uh, two, mon two months ago, uh, I was working like baby sister. Mm -hmm. And my boss uh, paid me every week. Mm -hmm. And every week, I lost Twenty dollars. <laughs> How come? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, but uh, every week, uh, disap disappeared. Disap disappeared. Mm -hmm. Disappeared twenty dollars of my bag, and I don't. I don't know how, what, why. But every week, I lost twenty dollars. And for how long did that happen? For a month? Um, I remember, I think, uh, for one month. Wow. All right. That's weird. That is very weird because, yeah, there, there was something spooky happening there. Because, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean. Think, mm -hmm. I think it was a uh, duende. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we say. <laughs> that's the same thing that I say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, last Saturday, uh, it was my girlfriend's grandma's um, 40 day, no me acuerdo como se dice rezo, but prayer. Yeah, the 40, 40 day prayer. And uh, it's a very long thing. Uh, it lasted until around 6.30 p.m. And right when, you know, we were picking up everything, like getting the chairs up and everything, one of her aunts lost her glasses she had a new pair of glasses that she had just gotten on friday so it was basically one day before um and she lost them like she she was uh, i mean not lost them she forgot the word we're gonna use lost okay but she lost them for some time um we were all looking for them and as we didn't find them because i had even seen the glasses i mean it's como les digo eran nuevos entonces básicamente nadie los había fijado yo soy bien meque yo me había fijado bien, o sea, que los lentes eran morados y que eh, sí se veían nuevos. Entonces, y yo les dije, ¿verdad? A los demás que no, que no sabían, porque ni los hijos de la señora se acordaban que cómo eran los lentes. Yo les dije, son morados y son como estos. O sea, yo casi nunca uso estos porque son más para protección de la compu, pero igual. Eh, mi hermana tenía unos iguales, entonces yo les dije, son como estos y son morados. Y todos como, como te fijaste yo, porque estuvimos platicando hace rato, así que soy me que me fijé en los, en los lentes, ¿verdad? Pero como ya estaba de noche y no los encontrábamos y es como que todo el mundo buscando los lentes, buscando los lentes y nadie los hallaba, 
Yo les dije, seguramente fue el duende. Ahí hay una ceiba bien grande, ahí en la, en la casa de los abuelos de mi novia. Entonces, y yo siempre les digo que de esa ceiba seguramente sale un duende. Like, it's, it's for sure. So yeah, if you guys get scared easily, please don't get into this class. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, I felt like uh, at the end, let me tell you, at the end, we found them. They were by the garden. She said that she, she was never by the garden and I saw her and I remember that she actually was never by the garden. But uh, yeah, that's where we found the glasses, by the garden. So, you know, things that happen. All right. Uh, I noticed that um, Dolores wanted to say something. No, teacher. Excuse me. Oh, that's okay then. All right. So anyone else, any of you guys has ever lost money? Have you ever lost money? ¿Alguno más de ustedes que alguna vez haya perdido dinero? This is more of a uh, volunteering situation. Okay. Alexa, tell us. How well, about you? Last you money risk? is not exactly my dad is my money. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Um, I think this happened three times or four times. This happened when my dad was a puppy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this was in in his you know emo emo day <laughs> ah. but yeah he he literally ate my he literally ate my money i think two two bills uh, bills yes mm -hmm. he ate two bills of 20 dollars and the other one was one from ten dollars and the other one with of oh, five dollars so yeah i just cried a little bit yeah. and i saw that that happens you know it's it's sad and uh for the people that don't believe it when somebody says that dogs sometimes eat homework they do they are mean animals in my case i'm, I'm sorry for those who are not gonna like my uh my comment but that is the reason why i'm more of a cat person you know because dogs i don't know what's wrong with them sometimes they just behave so weird um but yeah i mean eating money it's, it's something that i have never heard before uh but it's something truly believable believable of a dog um but uh you know things happen things that happen and uh oh one only thing es que cuando decimos las cosas así de dinero primero decimos la cantidad y después decimos el bill o sea sería más bien como um one twenty dollar bill o two twenty dollar bills um en el caso de que sea uno de diez sería one ten dollar bill y que sea de cinco sería off. No, no, podemos, no tenemos que decir siempre one, se puede decir también decir a, a dollar bill o a five dollar bill. Sí, entonces, pero primero decimos eh, la cantidad y luego decimos el dollar bill para que, para la siguiente, ¿verdad? Que quede más, más, más fácil, eh, sería de esa forma. All right, but yeah, see, things that happen. A dog eating money. All right, anyone else who has ever lost money or do we change topic here? Already then, let's see. A ver si en esta sí se me, se me, a mí me iban a participar un poquito más. Here we go. Have you ever been in love? Okay, so this one I will not believe you. And I think this time I will ask you guys straight up because it's too much, okay? I want you guys to participate. I want you to be part of the lesson. So have you guys ever been in love? What do you think? Let's hear maybe from um, who? Laura. How about you, Laura? Have you ever been in love? Uh, mm, it's very difficult question. <laughs> mm, uh, maybe, probably. Maybe, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, when I have, I, I, I put it an nervous that when I was um, 25 years old, mm -hmm. uh, in my life, uh, was a, uh, 
a person very important uh, for me. Um, but I don't have uh, much, many to, or much or many when wow. I have, uh, when I speak about the feeling, is much. Yeah, much. much. Yeah, much to say. Okay. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter to anymore <laughs> all right things that happen you see things that happen but yeah the answer will be yes you have been in love then to this point you have been in love maybe you're not in love right now but you have before so good very nice uh how about jorge because jorge estaba riendo cuando puse la pregunta así que jorge how about you have you ever been in love yes teacher uh for me, I don't like the love because it's very difficult. Mm. Um, but I like when the star, the relation, um, mm -hmm. ¿cómo se dice relación? Relationship. Relation is beautiful. Uh, when the tie is very boring, so I I don't like this have a long relation. I like a short. Um, for me, another situation is uh, I am happy in my life, so I don't know. I don't know, need uh, another person in this moment. Okay. All right. Very good. That is very interesting. That is very, very interesting. You see things that happen. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's true. You know, it's, it's a debate. When you talk about this kind of thing, it can always open a debate because um, some people who have been in relationships for a long time, they can tell you the contrary of that. But, you know, if your feelings are that you feel better uh, being by yourself, it's what you have decided to do. And if you feel good that way, you know, nobody should be against that. So that is nice. And, it, and I think that people who think like that are people who have found that maybe they love themselves, you know, above how they can um, get to appreciate or love someone else. So that sounds like a very mature decision to make. And uh, also, like a very safe way to go about life. So, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for sharing. All right. How about um, the case of, um, let's see, maybe Melissa. Have you ever been in love, Melissa? Ah, parece que se desconectó. Miren, ve, se, se asustó. All right. So, not Melissa. Um, how about the case of, um, let's see, Luis, have you, Luis, ever been in love? Yes, I have been, but at the moment, I am not. <laughs> okay, so complicated situations, that's how life goes. All right. Uh, let's see. How about um, you, Romeo? Have you ever been in love? Yes, teacher. I have a three little child. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? I have. I am married for 10 years. Uh -huh. About. And really, I. I am in love. What do you say? I'm still. I'm, I'm still. I'm still. Yeah, I'm still in love from my wife. All right. Yeah. So there you see. That's one of those relationships, one of those long time relationships where you guys can still say that you're in love. So that's lucky. You know, some people just spend so much time. With one another that it happens what um jorge was saying is something that happens like the relationship gets into a boring situation but for you it hasn't been the case apparently so that's yes nice. but but depend the, the the relationship because um, some couple are 
boring relationships and mm -hmm. some, you know, yes, but depend. All right. The good. situation, yeah. Very good. So one more person, one el someone else who would like to share if you guys have ever been in love. Let's see. Um, how about Lisbeth? Have you ever been in love, Lisbeth? I think you're a little bit young for that, but you know. Who knows? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's a very confusing feeling, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it's what happens. Like sometimes we just don't know how to explain how it feels because um, it's such a weird word. I think all feelings are like that, you know. But the thing is that for the rest of them. I feel like it's easier for us to explain how it looks like when someone is happy, when someone is sad. But love is such a tricky thing to explain and to have in life. So it's totally understandable that sometimes we don't know. Probably we have, but we don't know if we have. So things that happen. Anyway, for now, people, basically that has been it uh, for this week. Remember, next week you guys are off. You guys are free to do anything just... Just the only thing that I will ask you is please stay alive, all right? Because we have to meet here again on next Monday to continue learning. We're going to be um, closing up the course in, uh, with the next four classes. Um, well, basically, that will be it. So thank you very much, people, for your attention and participation in this evening's class. I hope you have an amazing holiday. And also, I hope I will see you again next Monday. So for now, have a good week and enjoy your free time. Have a nice holiday, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.